I met Joel Stoker. Oh, hi, hi everybody and welcome to another Martin Meets. Uh, you're going to get one for ages and then three in a short space of time. So this was another in-store signing at A Slice of Vinyl, my local record shop, and this time it was with Joel Stoker. Now, Joel is the lead singer of the band The Rifles. They are a band, I knew their name, I've never knowingly heard any of their music. Joel's released a solo album, his debut solo album, and it was announced that he would be coming to A Slice of Vinyl for an in-store. So I did a Google, listened to the lead single off of the album, enjoyed it, Bought the album, booked my ticket. Um, so it was last Monday as I record this. I'm recording this on Monday the 11th. It was on Monday the 4th at 7pm. So i been at work in the morning, headed down there. Um, got there about quarter to seven, I think. And there was only maybe half a dozen people in front of me in the queue. But I knew, having spoken to Kieran, um, but, you know, they'd sold out and there's going to be a decent attendance and sure enough it, it soon filled up behind me um exactly the same procedure as all the others basically shortly after seven we went in then there was an, an acoustic performance by joel and then we all filed out again and went back in to get our album signed uh i'd on the friday the first yeah i think that was the first i was in slice of vinyl doing my regular shopping and you know what what's the matter who did oh fair enough <clears throat> I was in there doing my regular shopping and Kieran was playing the album and I was in there long enough that I heard the album twice and really really liked the album so come the Monday I was really looking forward to hearing it Joel came on very nice guy clearly knew his fans you know he properly knew them as in by name was shaking hands with them as they came in one of them turned up late and he sort of said you know what time do you call this as he came in you know it was all very warm and friendly and yeah as I say he clearly knows and appreciates his fans uh he just did five or six numbers from the album. As I say, acoustically, there wasn't much between song banter, maybe just, you know, introducing the songs and that was about it. But a very good performance, really enjoyed it. Yeah, very good. Uh, then we went out and went back in for the signing and he was taking ages with, with some people again, you know, his regulars, if you like, as he was chatting with them and taking a long time. I didn't have that much to say to him. Um, other than the fact that I'd, Kieran had played me the album and that I'd really enjoyed it and he was hugely grateful for that. Um, but yeah, nicely signed album. It's a nice cover of a nice big white space or light space for signing. You can see, nicely signed to Martin, all the best, Hart. Uh, is it, I think it's just Joel rather than Joel Stoker. I think it's just Joel with a kiss on the end. But yeah, very nicely signed. Um... Yeah, that's about all I've got to say. It was excellently organised as ever. Um, you know, I, I know Team as Lice of Vinyl very well. I spend a lot of time there and they really work hard at making these events work. There's more in the pipeline and the more they do and the more successful they are, the bigger acts they'll get. Um, so I'm looking forward to attending many more. But yes, that's me meeting Joel Stoker. Here's some photos of me meeting him.
and yeah as, as i say lovely guy great album brilliant event thank you for watching like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in another video thanks bye Thank you.